The fifth strategy, and I think it is a strategy, all of these I think I want you to think strategically about rather than be casual or see them as just points. I'm thinking of them as a strategic, intentional thing you apply to your life. And the fifth thing I want to say to you is, do not be loyal to an old version of yourself. Don't be loyal to an old version of yourself. You are not the same person. We are not the same person throughout our lives, and nor should we be. Not enough is said about that, so that people spend a lot of time feeling guilty and confused um, at different seasons of their life, and feel bad about uh, not being as interested in what they used to be interested in, not caring as much about what they used to care about, and not wanting to spend time with people that they used to spend time with, not wanting to do the things they used to do, um, because you are changing. And if you're a growing, flourishing person, you will not stand still as a person. You will constantly have reinventions of you because you are committed to becoming the best version of you you can possibly be, which means you have to shed the skin, as it were, of the old versions of you that were good in their time, but they are not good for who you are becoming next. And I think what happens is that we do life with people who love the version of you that they've always known. And so it gets difficult to reinvent because the people that have known you the longest um, are the ones that most don't want you to change <laughs> in case the next version of you doesn't give them the same space in your life. And you'll know as well as I do, people that know the version of you, the version of you that you've been for a long time are the ones that are, so what, what did you say? What are you doing? Why are you reading that book? Oh, haven't heard you say that before. Oh, haven't known you listened to that kind of podcast before. Or, and this, this self-improvement that you're involved in becomes a threat to them because it's changing how you think and how you speak and it's shifting your values around. It's shifting your behavior and your habits and your, and, and your time allocation. And it's a threat to people who feel that they may be pushed out of the space they have in this current version of you, so they don't want you to become another version of you, but you know you have to, because each version of you has its own sell-by date. So to stay loyal to an old version of you, when you are seeking new opportunities, uh, new relationships, new ideas, new expressions of life, new things you want to do, they will require you to upgrade you to be able to pull those things off and to be able to do those things well. It's kind of like being upgraded to first class and keeping an economy mindset. Being upgraded to uh, an opportunity, and, and this is why people often get an opportunity they want, they get the job they want, the promotion they want, but then fail in that opportunity, in that space, because they brought the old version of them to the new opportunity. And you know as well as I do that getting a new opportunity isn't just about a skill set. It's about adapting to the new space. It's about adapting to the new culture. And literally the new opportunity could be a completely new culture, a new country, a new city. So the challenge doesn't, become so much, can I do the job, but can I be the person that is a good fit for this job and role? And the people that can do that the best are the ones that are committed to constant re reinventions of themselves. So it becomes vital to not stay somewhere mentally that you left physically a long time ago. And when we do that, we park up mentally and emotionally in a version of us that was 10 years ago, 20 years ago, even a year ago, and we live in the present with this mixture of who we were and who we're trying to be, and it becomes a mess. So, do not stay loyal for the sake of anybody to an old version of yourself. I think the most flourishing, progressive, growing people have figured that out, whatever they call that, I don't know. My version of that for me is that I have committed to not stay loyal 
ever to an old version of myself. And some of my reinventions have been rapid. So my, my not staying loyal has been a constant choice I've made. Um, several times throughout the period of a year, I have known that I've reinvented, I've changed. And it, it's sometimes small um, uncouplings. It's sometimes small resignations and divorces that you do from the old you. It's not massive life shifts sometimes. It's sometimes small, almost unnoticeable to others, but very noticeable to you how you are constantly um, moving on and not staying loyal to old version. No matter how good that version was, it's not who you are anymore. Don't stay loyal to an old version of yourself.